Hello, I'm Greg and it's another tall take. I'm down here in this deserted area. Well, it's usually deserted anyway. Wait till I start recording here and there comes the traffic. But anyway, yeah, pleasant spot to be down here. This is one of them old flooded out neighborhoods that there's blocks after blocks of nothing, you know, just bulldozed, uh, scraped um, houses, you know. Anyway. This box right here, it's called an Apache. You get these things from Harbor Freight, and they're th I think they're like $15 or something. But you got you got all the um, all the foam in it that that, that, that is already pre-cut into little blocks that you can just pull out, just pluck it out, and in the shape of whatever whatever you want to put it in it, you know that sort of thing. Awesome little things. I got some Captain Black Dark I'm going to be smoking here. I really like this stuff. This stuff is really mellow. Never bitey. Good stuff. I'm going to smoke it in my meerschaum. Yeah, I want to talk about something. Yeah, we've been hearing about this, this flu for, what, two years now? Something like that? And, uh... You know, I wore my mask for about a week, a week and a half, maybe. Just because of, I guess because everybody else is doing it, I reckon. Until I thought, wait just a minute. Flus, I know, I know how flus work. Flus go through all of society. And if you got somebody transferring from one society to the other, it's going to go into that society. I mean, it's just the way it works, you know. That's the nature of flus. That's what. That's how they work. They take out the weak, build the strong up. They've got antibodies, and that sort of thing. I never had symptoms of a flu. I had symptoms of a little cold coming on one morning. And that's all I've had in this, this last two years. And, um, I'm going to need my torch again. <laughs> That's blowing out here. But, um, you know, we all learned in 10th grade biology that that's how flus work, you know. That's just the way, that's just the nature of them. And given the amount of politicized things since, since Donald Trump got into office, I got thinking, I said, I don't think there's anything to this crap. There's something to the flu, but the prop the propaganda that was getting dumped out of us, the fear mongering that was getting dumped out of us, was astonishing. And um And we still got it today. People are trying to push that same agenda, that fear-mongering agenda, you know. Vaxxed, double vaxxed, triple vaxxed, and still getting it. You know, doesn't that tell you anything at all? Really? Doesn't that tell you anything at all right there? Tells me everything I need to know. And this is the tunnel tape. This is, there's a reason why I named it that. It's not called the Greenville Piper or anything like that. This is my take on issues. And you have your take on issues. Do I act like you don't. <laughs> because if you, act, if you act like you don't, it's just an act. Because everybody's got thoughts on things. Flus just act like flus. I mean, SARS, the swine flu, all that stuff went through all of humanity. It's already probably gone through all of humanity. 
and it killed off the weak ones and built up the strong ones. I tell you what, you're going to try to run from this recent flu? Are you going to mask up? You're going to vax up and all this stuff? You're going to try to run from it? Believe me, it's going to catch you. It's going to catch up with you. To, th to think that you're going to get away from it. And you may get away from it, but you'll have to re live the rest of your life in fear. You have to re live the rest of your life in fear of it. And I knew two weeks into this thing, I said, no, I'm not doing that. I'm at the youngest point in my life I'm going to be right now. And I'm at the healthiest because everybody was told to stay home and all this stuff, you know. We're all happy, healthy. I said, I want to contract the thing right now. Greatest time in my life to do it. Apparently I did because my family's got massive antibodies built, to, built up to it. Most old people die of respiratory problems, illnesses of some kind. And that's how I'm going to die. I know that's how I'm going to die. I'm pretty sure it is. You're going to die. <laughs> yeah, you can, you, can, you can believe all kinds of stuff that you want, but you're going to die. I can just about guarantee that. Now, Christians are always there. Oh, I, oh I'm, I don't want to die. I want to get raptured up. You know, well... Yeah, it's been 2,000 years now, and uh, not saying it's not going to happen. I will say that it's more likely to happen because more time has gone by. You take any inevitable event, it becomes more possible as time increases. And as time goes by, it becomes more possible. I wouldn't go... Betting on that, though, and coming up with some kind of fantasy idea, way of living your life, because this this event is going to happen in my lifetime. No, don't, don't rely on that. My mom said something a long time ago. She said, she said, live like Jesus is coming today. Work like he's coming tomorrow. Live like he's coming today. Work like he's coming tomorrow. That's pretty good advice, I think. So plan. Think ahead. That sort of thing. Don't be an escapist. So many Christians today are escapists is what they are. They don't want to go through any hard times. Jesus is my Santa Claus. I get what I want to from Jesus. God. He's promised us one thing, and that's tribulation. <laughs> In this world, you will have tribulation. And there's so much damage that has been done in this society by this prosperity doctrine that's going around. That's been going around for 20 years now. And it'll keep on going around because that's what people want. That's what people pay these trashy uh, preachers to preach to them. Gosh. I tell you what, there's some hell to pay, y'all. I'm going to be right there to witness it. These theologians, Christian theologians, yeah, that's right, that's right, yeah, yeah, that's right. No. So don't be a political idiot. Basically what I'm saying, don't be a political idiot. <laughs> don't be an idiot for these politicians and their propaganda that they're pushing on you. And these, these people who buy totally into this fear. Nah, don't do that. Mm, good stuff. Mm. Captain Black Dark. Woo. If you like Black Cavendish, get you some of that. Oh, man.
I'll see you guys later. Bye now.